Well, do y'all know that 80% of truckers do not know how to use or set up a GPS? I've had so many people tell me that this brand and this brand and this brand are not any good. They don't know how to get around. I mean, it's good to know how to use a map. It's good to know how to use Google Maps. But they can't set up for GPS. Mm. Stick around, let's talk about this. Well, good morning. Welcome to the Buttermilk Channel. One thing, I know the camera's sitting in a little bit different spot than it used to be. It don't sit in my new holder like I want it. Uh, I wish it would. But. Let's talk about trucker GPS's. I've already did a review on this GPS. And they explained, you know, what type it was. Um, how much I paid for it and all that. But, as I said in the comment, they're 80% a drivers don't know how to use a GPS I'm gonna go over a few things that you need to learn and I don't think it thank you CD we'll turn that off that I think you need to know when you set every GPS has parameters tolls non tolls I set mine up for tolls uh, if you don't have a, well, I got it sitting right here. One of these pre-pass, uh, easy pass, whatever pass things, uh, borders. If you're running in the north, you make sure that you set the thing up. Do not cross borders, uh, because in certain states, these GPSs, I'll show you going through Canada back over to where you need to go because it's a shorter route <clears throat> make sure you set that up set your height on your truck the length on your truck and hazmat uh, whether you carry or don't carry hazmat this GPS that I have does not rec does not recognize um, 285 in Atlanta it doesn't recognize the 64 uh, 65 going across the bridge the toll bridge there in Louisville it wants you to take go around the loop back to a toll road and back over 65 why I don't know um, and a couple other places it doesn't recognize uh, about going around the city um, when things are limited okay we got height weight make sure your weight set on it um, tolls parameters fastest route settings that's what you want to use fastest route um, I've tried the other routes you know shorter and all it's um, going through little small towns tight turns uh, usually the fastest route setting will get you there using the biggest roads I know some of our customers are in the middle of nowhere, especially up here in Michigan and uh, Illinois. That's where I'm at today. Uh, and um, Indiana, a couple other little places. Uh, like, you have to get off the main road and go through these towns. Uh, and I don't want to go down 1st Street when I could have went up Route 55. We're just going to use Route 55. Um, to get there but this GPS I have is not the best GPS um, for a beginner if you are a beginner trucker or a beginner GPS person you need to buy the better brand um, if you have any questions about it feel free to drop me a link I hope this helps you out about purchasing a GPS um, I bought mine off of Amazon it's a truck, but it's not a true truck GPS. It's a kickoff from something. Uh, but, you know, I do know how to use a map and look at my stuff. Uh, this GPS has got me close to um, low clearance 
four times. I've had to kind of whip around in the parking lot and stuff and turn around and go back. Um, so you have to be aware. Uh, GPS is only a two. Only a two. Um, so, you know, you still have to do a little bit of trip planning. But they can really help your day and help you out going through these big cities, lane to lane, lane to lane to lane, and they can kind of, of course they got road constructions in some of them, and you'll be riding in and try to put you back on 2nd Street or 54th Street, but you know, you got to kind of pay attention to stay on your lane. Well, leave me a message if you have anything about GPSs, we'll try to answer it. If I can't, I'll look it up on Google. Later, everybody have a good day. Thank you for stopping by.